Hi lovelies, welcome back to another Watch Me Break video. So today I am doing an acrylic full set to share with you guys. Hashtag not polished. So I am doing a white and gold glitter fade. And these are my client's birthday nails. So I'm starting off with the white acrylic powder. Now I did pre-mix this white with some clear acrylic to make it tone down a little bit. So you can say it's a soft white. And I'm starting with a bead to the center of the nail and I'm going to work it as far to the free edge as I possibly can. Now if it is I do need any extra acrylic, I'm just going to apply a small to medium sized bead depending on the gap that I need to fill to the free edge. And just make sure that everything is nicely blended back into each other. And I am applying this white as if I was about to go in and do a pink and white ombre. And if you guys are interested in a more in-depth video as to how I do my fades, I would link it in in the description box below and it's also in the cards on your screen so you guys can check it out so because the gold glitter that I'm about to use is a little on the chunky side and it's sort of opaque um, I would say that you don't need to make sure that there is no harsh lines between the glitter fade and the white the only thing I would suggest is making sure that that white is nice and flat to the nail plate so that when you start making the transition of the gold glitter you get a nice smooth fade and you don't see any harsh lines On her middle finger, I'm just going to coat the entire nail with my soft white. Now, I don't need to encapsulate this nail because this is a strength powder. So, I do need to make sure that the nail structure is thick enough. And I like to go a little bit thicker around the cuticle area. So, when I start to file, I don't actually file away that color at the cuticle area when it's time to seal that area in. So, I'm just going to continue building up the structure of this nail, making sure to remove any excess acrylic that would have gotten on the sidewalls or on the skin around the cuticle area because it's not very easy to file that area off you can hurt your clients if it is that you over file that area and that area is very sensitive so you want to make sure to remove it while the acrylic is still wet do not wait for that acrylic to set and if it is that you do leave it there and you don't file it away it is going to cause the nails to lift and not last as long as they should. So on her opposite hand, I'm going to repeat the exact same thing that I did with the white. The only difference is instead of leaving out her ring finger, I'm leaving out her pinky finger for that marble nail. And yes, I am including both hands for this design today. And if you actually enjoy me showing my clients both hands, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. So I will continue to upload it like that for you guys, well as much as I can. And if you're not yet subscribed, why not click that subscribe button one time as you're down there and turn the post notifications on so that you don't miss a beat when I upload next. I'm just going to go in and finish working with the white and I'll meet you guys back.
now with my gold glitter acrylic powder I'm going to be creating the fade with the gold now doing a glitter fade it's all about eyeballing it so when you are happy with the way that your fade looks then you leave it to set but while the acrylic is still wet if you see anything that's out of place that you want to shift around this is the time that you're going to take to do that so in my case some of the iridescent gold dots were too close together so i took the opportunity to remove them and place them where i thought was appealing to the eye and i'm going to continue this to all the faded nails on her both hands So now I'm going in with my soft white and clay acrylic powder and I'm going to be creating a marble nail. Now I'm not doing this in any particular form or fashion because I don't want it to look too precise. Taking beads of my clay and beads of the soft white, I'm going to sort of lightly blend them together and I'm going to pat them into place. Now for me, the more ununiformed the acrylic appears is the best of the marble looks in my eyes. I'm just randomly placing them and patting them into place. And when I was happy with the way that my marble looked, I went in and applied some of that glitter throughout making sure to work with these nice and thin because I do have to go in and encapsulate this nail. So when I was finished and happy with the way that my marble nail looked, I just repeated the exact same thing to her pinky finger on the opposite hand.
Now I'm going in with my Tones Glass Acrylic Powder and I'm going to be encapsulating all the nails on both hands except the middle fingers. So after the acrylic was set, I did go in off camera, file shaped and buffed and my client decided that she wanted a gold crown on one of her nails. Now the story behind this set was I had free reign to do whatever I wanted. She just wanted something to match with her birthday cake, which was white and gold with a gold crown on top. So I will have a picture of the birthday cake to share with you guys. And go ahead and leave me a gold crown emoji with your comments in the comment section below. to adhere my crown as always i'm using my gem gel so i just placed a dollop where i want my crown to be and i'm just making sure that crown is nice and straight and i'll let my client go ahead and pop her hand into my led lights and cure that for 30 seconds i repeated the exact same thing on both hands after it was nicely cured i just went in and applied my no wipe gel top coat to all the nails cure that for another 30 seconds that was the final cure i allowed the nails to cool down and then i went in and applied my cuticle oil and i must say guys i'm very happy with the way that this set turned out it is exactly what i pictured and i love when my sets actually come to life and get the opportunity to be rocked by one of my glamorous clients so i am out now i'm gonna leave you guys right here to watch the rest of the video and i look forward to chatting with you all in the comment section below as always i'd love for you guys to keep safe and i'll see you soon